This is Dan the Vagabond Buddha. I'm going to show you videos or pictures of Oaxaca, Mexico, as I discuss why I believe it is one of the best live or retire cheap in paradise locations in Mexico. But don't write anything down as you listen. Everything I say is in writing at Vagabond Buddha with Google Map links to everything I describe. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get Oaxaca, Mexico, retire early, low cost of living, uh, free old town walking tour, best day tours, restaurants, nightlife, best and cheap places to stay, flights, buses, and trains, livability factors, and the estimated costs of living in Oaxaca, Mexico. And finally, our best travel or retired cheap paradise locations in the world. Again, this is my Oaxaca, Mexico Retire Early Low Cost of Living Guide. Maybe you are looking for paradise for early cheap retirement. Maybe you are a digital nomad reducing expenses while you start your online business. Maybe you are looking for a place to live cheap while you write your next novel. Maybe you are allowed to work from anywhere in the world so long as you have an internet connection. Whatever the case may be for you, Oaxaca, Mexico is a place you should consider. This Oaxaca, Mexico Retire Early Low Cost of Living Guide should give you a head start. I've been traveling around the world since 2007 looking for the best travel or retire cheap places in the world. I've been to 65 countries so far. Oaxaca is easily in my top three places in Mexico. It's so easy cheap, clean, and beautiful living here. It just makes sense. Chung Hoi of Hobo Ventures is traveling with me. She has a huge Instagram following. Um, you just click the link and you can also check out uh, what she's doing. There's a link on the webpage. Uh, please subscribe here on Vagabond Buddha or on my YouTube channel to see where we go next in Mexico. We're heading for a new place tomorrow. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please grab a free copy of my book. It's at the webpage. Oaxaca, uh, Mexico Facts. Oaxaca City relies heavily on tourism. People visit from all over the world to see the colonial era town center, the native cultures of Zapotec, the and Mixtec and others and the beautiful and the natural beauty. Oaxaca state has a large indigenous population of more than 50% of the total population. There are many different indigenous cultures, each speaking a different local language. There are many who live there according to their original culture that don't even speak Spanish. Oaxaca hosts the Golagritza Indigenous Festival. It is the most famous indigenous festival in Mexico, if not the world. The festival is held each year on the last two Mondays of July. Indigenous communities from all over Oaxaca gather at the festival to celebrate their native culture, uh, music, customs, uh, costumes, dances, and food. Uh, Mexico's only indigenous president, Benito Juarez, is a native son of Oaxaca. Indigenous people have lived here for thousands of years, and the ancient ruins of Monte Alban and Mitla are close to Oaxaca City. The Aztecs showed up in 1440, and the Spanish invaded in 1521. When the Spanish arrived, they came with an escort of 400 Aztec allies. A town council was formed, the first mayor was elected, and construction of the cathedral in Oaxaca City began in 1522. If you book my recommended flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but we'll, we will earn a small commission. This will help us continue to make these free travel guides. Oaxaca, free Old Town walking tour. 
uh, come to the web page and uh, there's a video here and a Google interactive map you can watch the video if you think it's an interesting walk and we've covered some interesting places you can click the interactive map and go on the walk and there's an explanation for on the web page of each place along with a Google link in case you want to go only to a subset of these locations that I've selected. So come to the webpage and check out our Old Town Walking Tour of Oaxaca City. If you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, share it, comment below, or subscribe? That'll rank us higher in search engines so we can keep making these travel guides. Okay, best Oaxaca day tours and map. Uh, there's two two tour uh, companies that I recommend, Viator and Get Your Guide Tours. And there's a link here you can click. The tours change and the prices change from time to time. So just click the link on the web page uh, and see what's available and at what price uh, at the time you're going to be here. Uh, also, there's two self-guided tours, or I call them cheap bastard tours. Uh, the first one is the Oaxaca, Mexico day tour to Mitla, Puebla, El Agua, and El Tule. Uh, there's directions uh, uh, and each individual spot uh, and how to get there. Um, but basically, you're just going to ride a local bus and go on your own pace and to visit the, each of these three stops. And there's a video here you can click on and watch to see if it looks good. But Mitla is a must-see, as is Huerva el Agua. Um, the largest tree in the world is the third element. Um, so uh, feel free to visit and check that out. Uh, the second tour, a uh, cheap bastard tour, um, is Monte Alban. Monte Alban is the most significant archaeological site in all of Oaxaca. Uh, watch the video on our web page uh, to see what I mean. Uh, we sort of learned our lesson uh, on the previous trip to Mitla. Uh, the trip, the tours are so cheap uh, here in Oaxaca, uh, around 150 pesos per person or $7.50. You don't really save much money by doing it yourself. Really all you do is gain control of your time and you can set it up so that you're in places earlier before the crowd that sort of thing um, but otherwise um, uh, recommend taking the tour watch the tour here and I'll show you where to buy it uh, on the web page they're both available for you uh, also next on the web page is Oaxaca best restaurants street food and surprise experiences um, our uh, four favorite restaurants in Oaxaca are on the web page uh, just click that and see those there's a, a juice bar here, uh, a half pitcher of fresh juice was 35 pesos. I mean like a blender size uh, that could easily be 7 to $10 in the U.S. was only $1.75. Also some flour tacos, uh, which were just delicious. By flour, I don't mean the, the kind that used to make bread. I mean the kind that is normally in the middle of your dining room table in a vase. You can have flour tacos at one dollar each, and or tamales for one dollar uh, right uh, next uh, to the super juice bar. So, so click the link and go to the soup bar. Uh, the other thing is Taludas Las Animas. Um, this is um, uh, also on the video uh, you can see, but uh, Chung Hoi had dinner there for three dollars and fifty cents. I've been on a fast, so I watched her eat, but. It was open late. If you're out late, uh, you can go go to this uh, bar or this uh, restaurant. Uh, Cafe Los Cules. Uh, again, links provided. We asked our Airbnb host where a great coffee shop was with reliable internet. She suggested this place. The internet was great and free, so we tried the food. Delicious. Uh, it was nine dollars for both of us, including our drinks and food, and we had a nice meal while we worked um, on our computers. Uh, and then um, there, um, there's also a link here to a local market and supermarket where we did our shopping. We like to cook at home also, so you can get an idea of prices of vegetables and fruits and uh, various uh, ingredients you're going to need to cook if you move here. Okay, best Oaxaca nightlife. There's a bar hopping tour here with a map and a video. We, uh, we um, uh, designed this tour uh, for you that you can take and uh, and then we did it ourselves 
and created a video and they're both on the web page you can watch it along with a list of the six places that we visited uh, that we're recommending for a nightlife tour and you can see you know what each involves and whether or not something you're interested in which one is our favorite will be apparent from the uh, from the video um, okay Ohaka best and cheap hotels uh, there's hotels here you should stay in the old town area of Ohaka you can walk to most of the interesting things to do and see you won't need to get in a taxi um, these accommodations are listed on the web page go from most expensive to least and they range from over a hundred almost two hundred dollars down to where we stayed in an Airbnb uh, place for nineteen dollars per night um, and so you can see the full spectrum there and then there's a um, Ohaka flights buses and trains section that explains if you're moving around Mexico, what trains to use, if you're flying in, what airport, um, and then also tips like uh, make sure to get a SIM card on your phone so you can use the Google map walking tours and use Google to find these various places that we're talking about. Um, if you'd like to live cheap or retire early in paradise and learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly for less money than you spend at home, Grab a free copy of my ebook. It's on the web page. Um, as I say, all of these places I recommend um, tours, accommodations, flights. Uh, if you use the link, we make a small commission, which is, is how we're paying for this. Okay, Oaxaca, Mexico livability factors. This is Dan from Vagabond Buddha. Here are the factors I use to decide if I would like to live somewhere. I call them my livability factors. My livability factors include walkability. I don't really like being in cars that much um, unless I'm going on a day tour somewhere. Things to do, internet reliability, weather, uh, social consideration, food choices, expat opportunities, real estate prices, and the overall cost of living. These are the factors I would use uh, and do use to evaluate each place. Oaxaca desirability score. I rank each livability factor separately before I think about the overall desirability score of living somewhere. Oaxaca has a, a high desirability, uh, low, medium, and high are my three values. It's going to depend a lot on you and whether how you weight my factors, but I think by watching the videos I've described you'll get an idea of how you might rate it differently. Right now my personal top six places to live or retire cheap in paradise for Mexico are Oaxaca, Puebla, Querétaro, Guanajuato, Puerto Varta, and Tulum. But I have more places to see in Mexico before firming up my scores. If you'd like to know how my next four stops compare to my existing 14 that I've made, uh, please subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel or Vagabond Buddha and follow me along or watch my old videos. Walkability. Oaxaca is totally walkable. I would not need to buy a car if I lived here. Normally I go to the supermarket once a week to get fresh soup or fresh uh, vegetables, but the local markets are so clean and fresh here. Uh, I would just shop uh, at the local market instead and maybe go to the supermarket once a month, if that, for toiletries, shampoo, that kind of thing. Um, so walkability is very high here. You very rarely need to get into a vehicle. If you if you would like to learn how, um, okay, internet reliability. Uh, the Wi-Fi in our Airbnb uh, was 11 uh, megabits per second download speed and 0 0.3 megabits per second upload speed. Uh, use the AT&T speed test link provided. This is the wireless connectivity w within um, our Airbnb place. If I moved here, I would have to get a dedicated router and plug into it in order to be happy. That was a bit slow for my taste. Okay, food. Uh, normally I explore uh, this food diversity question a little better than I did here in Oaxaca. But I've been loving the fresh local food in the market so much. I haven't really even Googled top restaurants and looked at the diversity too much until I was about to sit down to write this. Um, there's no Thai restaurant that I could find in town. There's one Indian, two Chinese restaurants, one Lebanese, one Moroccan, two French, one Brazilian, two Argentinian, nine Japanese restaurants, 
one official vegetarian and one vegan, and a bunch of Italian restaurants, 10 or 12 good ones. The food diversity seems comparable to other towns in Mexico of this size. Uh, the mis municipality of Oaxaca City is about 300,000 people. The metro area is about 650,000. And the total number of people living in the entire state of Oaxaca is 3.5 million. If you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, share on social media, comment below, or subscribe? Your interaction will rank us higher in search engines. Okay, weather. We came to Oaxaca from Puebla, Mexico. The first thing we noticed is it was warmer here. That is because Puebla was at 2,000 meters or 600, 6,500 feet above sea level, and Oaxaca is only 1,500 meters or 5,100 feet above sea level. It's warmer as you approach sea level, so with the, with the uh, lower elevation, it was just warmer here. May is the warmest month with an average high of 92 Fahrenheit and 33 Celsius. But the good news is that it cools down quickly at night to 59 Fahrenheit or 15 Celsius. And many of the buildings are made of cement um, or um, concrete, so the temperature inside the buildings is held pretty uh, low during the hot part of the day uh, because it cools down so much at night. Uh, January is the coldest month with an average low of 48 Fahrenheit or 9 Celsius at night. But it warms quickly in the day to 82 Fahrenheit or 28 Celsius. The fact that it warms up so nicely during the cold month in January is nice. Uh, the rainy season is June through September when it rains about 5 inches per month or 130 millimeters. Uh, so it's really great weather. Uh, it's, it might be my favorite weather in Mexico. Um, it's definitely on the top of one or two. Okay, things to do. There's live music everywhere in the Old Town day and night. We really felt safe walking around Old Town day and night. I never really noticed anyone looking at us like we were their next meal. There was more selling going on here than begging. Uh, selling trinkets and tourist things than begging. Uh, the Old Town is well lit up at night. There are many bike lanes here, but not as many bike riders as you will see in Europe or the US. We saw a free symphony while we were in town. There were also posters for live music, cinema, and other uh, live activities. Okay, social considerations. You'll, feel, you, you'll need to learn Spanish to feel like you fit in here. There are 10 Oaxaca groups on meetups, and four of those seem to be communicating in English. So there is some English spoken here. Um, there's also an Oaxaca expats group on Facebook with 1,300 members. Uh, there were 84 new members this month and seven posts today. So there is a resource here, link provided. You could click on to ask questions. Uh, expat penetration. Uh, I would say medium for a town of this size. Um, it's one of the things I liked about it. It's more... Mexican, if you will, um, than a place like Chapla or Ajaji. Um, and that's my personal preference. I like to have a few expats around to make friends with, but personally I would, I would want to integrate into the Mexican culture a little more than uh, people do in places like um, in other parts of Mexico. Okay, real estate. You can get a one-bedroom, one-bath condo in the Old Town area for around 150000 100 to 150,000, and I'm providing a link here where you can do some searching. I do not recommend buying until you've lived here for at least one or two years. Okay, Oaxaca, Mexico, cost of living. After you've visited at least four or five of the places I've talked about in Mexico that sounded interesting to you, then consider where you want to live if you're focusing on Mexico. Uh, once it is time to pick a place, to rent for a year or so. I recommend renting an Airbnb apartment for a few weeks 
If you try to rent over the internet for long term, you'll be quoted only gringo prices. You're paying for someone's ability to communicate with you in English. Um, if you come put your boots on the ground here, I, I guesstimate that you could save two, three hundred dollars a month easily, um, and and end up paying around five to six hundred a month for a decent one-bedroom apartment in, you know, in or near the Old Town area of Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, and so I've used that number in my monthly cost of living uh, calculator. Okay, so um, my monthly cost of living calculator runs, uh, runs from low for somebody who's more of a backpack or hostel type person, um, all the way up to about a uh, person, somebody who lives in a one-bedroom apartment and goes out and has a you know, a couple of meals a day, and uh, maybe it's just spending a little more money. More apt to take a taxi than, say, local transportation. More apt to, to, to eat in a neighborhood or a high-end restaurant than uh, food carts or markets like you'll see in our videos where we often eat for one or two dollars per meal. And actually, I'm starting to favor that. Some of the high-end restaurants um, are just not as good as a, as a, as a nice family meal. In one of the markets. So, anyway, my range uh, for living here and, and the kind of lifestyle that I live, it runs about 600 to a thousand a month for one person. Um, the second person, you you know, wouldn't be double that because you're you're not going to be necessarily paying for t two separate apartments. But um, so some of these expenses uh, wouldn't be doubled. Uh, the above table is just my notes from my time here. Just click the link, look at the table. Um, the above numbers are for one person, do not include alcohol, tours, or extras. And I, I'm not guaranteeing anything with these prices. I'm just sharing my notes from with you with, from my travels. You might be completely different. For more information about how my cost of living uh, table works, there's a link here you can read at Vagabond Buddha. Um, and finally, please subscribe here or on uh, at Vagabond Buddha or on the, our YouTube channel if you'd like to receive the cost of living estimates for our next Mexico stops or our previous ones. We're heading to our next city in the morning. Are you curious where we'll be going? Um, again, please book using our recommended flights, tours, and accommodations. You'll pay nothing extra, but we'll earn a small commission. That'll help us keep making these videos for you. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd, if you'd like to learn how to live internationally, get a free copy of my book. It's on the webpage. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thank you for stopping by. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? <laughs>